welcome back to my channel, the Kassan Edit, where I share all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, my way of course. Today I am going to be talking about a particular pair of shoes. I'm actually just going to give a full on review about it because those are the types of videos that I look for, especially when I'm looking to buy designer shoes. I want to know if it's worth buying, how it runs, comfort level especially. All those things are things that I'm going to share with you here today on this particular shoe. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so for what I'm wearing today, I have on an H&M set that I got last year. It was such a coveted set. They came in different colors. I missed out on getting it on all the different colors because I think they had a beige color and a gray color as well. But I'm happy that I got my hands on this one because this is the one that I would have preferred the most. And it has the shoulder pads, which I like. So it's kind of a twist to your average sweatsuit. And I also think the color makes it look really chic. If I were going out today, I'd probably throw on my Gucci slides or my JW Anderson mules and that's pretty much it. All right, so let's get into the shoe that I'm reviewing today, which is the Valentino Roman Rock Stud. I have the box here with me. It comes in the infamous red Valentino box. So let me just tell you about this shoe really quickly. This came out, I wanna say spring last year spring 2021 this shoe was the hottest thing on the market um and valentino was just the hottest thing on the, anything valentino the bag the shoes the belt which i reviewed with you guys as i said before valentino is a brand that knows how to evolve with the times and that is what i feel like they did here with this upgraded version of a rock stud i completely fell in love with the shoe i first i think i first saw it on either Tamara who's a YouTuber blogger and or Monica from Odd by Monica. I think they were the first two people that I saw wearing them. I really fell in love with the shoe and I was going between whether get it whether I should get the black or the neutral color. I feel like I'll probably still add other colors but let me just jump into reviewing the shoe. I'll give you some other tidbits as I go along. All right so it comes in this box. And I actually got this from um, Rue La La. This was a shoe that I really wanted for my birthday. I had a whole look and I wanted to wear this particular shoe on my birthday. It didn't end up happening because I could not find it at a lower price. This shoe retails for $1,100. And I was not going to pay that price. You know I do not pay full price for anything. And I was not going to make the exception just because it was my birthday. In fact, I feel like my birthday outfit turned out a little better with the boots that I wore with it. But I did still wear my Valentino belt with it. It came together perfectly fine without the shoe. In fact, I think it was a better shoe to wear in New York than to trek around New York in these flats. Anyhow, I passed up on them for my birthday and I just kept being patient, 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 patient. I would always see Fashion Sherlock post different links to them, but it was never, ever, ever in my size because I also did get a chance to go into the store and try it on and find out what size I was. Whatever Fashion Sherlock was posting just was not the size that I needed. So what I would do was just continue to look on the sites and do the research for myself. Finally, around November or October, actually, it was around a month after my birthday, I came across it on Rulala. So it was Rulala Guild. It was across all those different sites and there were different sizes popping up in those different sites. So I was just clicking through to see, all right, I saw the prices pop up and I'm like, please let my size be available. When I clicked on the Rulala one, there was my size and I think it was the very last one. I grabbed it up and I could not be happier that I got it. All right, so here it is right here. This is it. Such a beautiful shoe. I will come closer so you guys can see. Oop, just dropped the box. You guys catch all those details. Such a nice shoe. This is the bottom there. These shoes look so good. I mean, how chic do these look? 
not only are they chic, but they're like badass. <laughs> it's like you picture a girl in New York rocking these with her biker leather jacket and just doing the damn thing, strutting the street in these. That is what I think about every time I saw this shoe. I'll also put up some pictures of the folks who wore them because it also looks really nice when you wear it with a really feminine dress and have this shoe as the actual statement that really edges up the look. Ugh, and you know me, I am that girl who loves to add a bit of edge to my look. That's one of my favorite things to do when I'm trying to put together a look. I actually have the regular Valentino rock stud to show you guys how Valentino has sort of upgraded this rock stud, if you will. So this is the rock, the Roman rock stud. And then you have here, this is the high heel version, the regular rock stud. And now already you could see Valentino just did the damn thing with these, right? And these also come in the heeled version. But I preferred the flats because I already know I had the heels in this. And I feel like the flats just look a little bit more relaxed and I didn't want to have a heel in this type of shoe. I kind of want to be able to chill and wear some casual type of outfits with this shoe. You can also dress it up, but that's what I'm going for with this shoe. So the difference already you see in the studs, the stud is much bigger on the Roman stud, again, which I think is really nice. That's a nice upgrade. And the gold is much richer. I'm all for that, all for that, because I'm all about a gold accent. And it's like, go big or go home, right? So they went bigger with the actual studs. Um, what else? The straps are much thicker. You can see there, they are way thicker. And I think those are the biggest differences. Um, and it also doesn't have, it doesn't border the shoe. It just is placed right on the straps itself. I don't know if I'm explaining that properly to you guys, but I think you get my gist, right? <laughs> All right, so on to the details of the shoe. Valentino has a reputation for being super, super comfortable. So although I have not gone out with this shoe yet, I trust that it is going to be comfortable. So I have no worries about that. <laughs> I remember when Louboutin was out here wrecking girls' feet, Valentino was saving everybody else's life <laughs> when it came to the shoes. And I can vouch that that red pair of rock studs is like walking on water. They're so, so comfortable. I can go all day wearing them. So just imagine an upgraded flat. Valentino is not going to downgrade when it comes to their comfort level, I'm sure. So I'm already confident that this is gonna be a comfortable shoe, although I haven't gone on. And when I put my foot in it, it feels amazing. The sole has a little bit of padding, not a lot, but I think it's just enough. And then the bottom is rubber. This bottom part right here is rubber. Um, and I got the black color. I was debating whether I should get the black or the neutral. Um, but then when I thought about it, black is one of my favorite colors. And it's the color that I knew I would gravitate to the most, especially since I ended up getting this shoe in the fall season. If I got it in the summer when I had, or spring when I first saw it, I think I'd take a stab at the neutral color, but I'm glad I got it in the fall because this is a color that I know that I will get the most wear out of anyway. I always gravitate towards black shoes. And again, I wear black a lot. And even if you're not wearing black, you wear this or add it to any look, it completely elevates the look just by throwing on this shoe. And I did style it in a previous video, which was what I got during my first trimester because this is one of the things that I got during that time. So you guys can watch Oops, sorry, that was my phone. So you guys can also go ahead and check out that video so you can see how I styled it. I ended up getting a size 40 in these, which is the same size that I have in the rock side. Anything that comes pointy like this in Valentino, they just run small. So you want to size up, and that is me sizing up a whole size because I am typically a size 39. I am always, 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 always a size 39 unless... It is a shoe that's a mule type of shoe where my heel will be hanging out. So you want to make sure that you compensate for that extra space so your heel's not um, sticking out of the shoe. But that's the only time that I ever go up a size. Um, but Valentino in general, like I said, even in those 
other rock studs, I'm a 40. So I was scared to go for the 40 before I went to go try it on. So I went to go try it on just to be extra sure. And it turns out I was right all along. The 40 is what I needed to get in these shoes. Um, let me take out this tissue paper really quickly. The only other thing I was kind of nervous about was scuffing that pointy toe when I walk, especially because it's flat. When you have a higher heel, I feel like you have more control on whether or not you scuff this pointy toe. And this is way pointier than, or maybe they're the same. But it feel, because it's flat, I guess it looks like it's pointier. But I feel like you have more control over your stride and not scuffing the front of that um, point while you're walking when it's a higher heel. But again, the flat version is what I prefer no matter what. The shoe just ties around your ankle like so. And I don't feel uncomfortable. It's not tight up here at all. It feels perfect. Um, the only thing I would say is like when I'm walking, I feel like my foot is kind of sliding back and forth. It's also because it's a brand new shoe and I haven't actually worn it out. I feel like I need to make that leather become a little bit more soft with more wear and it'll be fine after that. I'm, I was just a little stiff because one, I was nervous about scuffing it and two, I hadn't worn it out yet. And the other thing I would say is it feels like it's a little slippery on the bottom. I wore it just in the house and that was what I got from it. So I'm not 100% sure if that's the case because I haven't gone out, like I said. These are still running hot on the market, okay? You know, it came out last season, but it's very much still a shoe that is in. I would go ahead and go for it, especially since the spring season is coming up right around the corner. Um, they come in so many different colors. The colors that I started seeing in them, I was losing my mind. I mean, they came in a gold, they came in this beautiful neon color as well. I think they came in an all red. They also have a black version that has just straight up black studs. So it's an all black situation instead of the gold. That was nice too, but I definitely, again, I prefer these ones. There's a plethora of options in this style shoe. I also think I saw it in white. I mean, so many colors and I would be the type to have multiple colors in these. This is how much I like this shoe. I'd be the type to have multiple colors. So I think the key thing to take away from this review is one, that it runs small, so you need to go up a full size. I'm usually a 39. This is a size 40. Um, the bottom may be a little slippery, but that's an easy fix if that's the case. I haven't gone out with it yet. Um, and what else? Oh, the other thing I would say is when I saw it on the reseller sites, I saw that it was scuffed under here somehow. I don't know how that happens, but I'm just gonna be careful. I'm just mentioning it. <laughs> Not that that could happen to mine, I don't know. I'm just mentioning the wear and tear that I saw on people's items that they had on the reseller sites. Cause I was also scouring those sites to see if I can get a good one at a lesser price since I had such trouble finding it at the price that I wanted. But, um, oh, I ended up getting it for seven something seven something on Rulala, and that was a great price considering that they were eleven hundred dollars so i got i think it was like three hundred plus dollars off and it was pretty much my birthday gift to myself a late birthday gift to myself i got it like three weeks after my birthday so yeah i was happy with them and they look so so good y'all if you're into heels go for it get the heel version because like i said it's really no difference just adding a heel to that comfort level will be the same i'm sure um it's just such a beautiful beautiful shoe and valentino just kept up with the times that's what i think i love the most i am impressed by the way that valentino has been able to just continue to stay relevant throughout the years because you know there's so many different brands that just have trouble keeping up like that and creating things that are still going to be likable and wanted by different consumers like i said that belt you guys can actually go back to that review if you'd like the belt is impeccably made impeccably made so i am a fan of valentino i also want to get the bag that goes with this i'm on the hunt for that just how perfect would that be to have the matching shoe i've been saying it 
all along so you guys know that the bag will come soon enough i don't know when but as soon as i get it you guys will be the first to know and the shoe just makes a statement y'all this is a statement shoe it i mean and it looks like i gravitate towards that because my jw anderson's the gold also makes it a statement and i remember when my mom saw me wearing them she's like wow what a shoe and so i wasn't expecting that even though i knew the reaction still caught me off guard and that is the reaction that you're gonna get with this shoe i mean you throw a t-shirt and some jeans on with this you are good to go that is the beauty i love an outfit that gets put together with ease at this stage in my life i'm all about ease and comfort those two things put together i don't need nothing else right and this is exactly what this shoe helps me achieve and why I love it. So imagine when I add the bag to that, like, come on. I'm just picturing myself strolling on Newberry Street. And I'm not saying Newberry Street because it's a reputable street. That's like the Rodeo Drive of Boston. Nowhere near Rodeo, but that's as close as it gets. Um, but it's just because it's a beautiful tree lined street. And I just love the energy and the vibes that I get when the weather starts to get good on that street. It's like my favorite place for me and Amaya to go when we want to take a stroll and just go around town. This is just the perfect type of shoe for a Newberry stroll, right? So think about where you live, where you would take a stroll, all that, where you would go to a nice lunch with your girlfriends or a midday lunch date with the boo. Just super cute love 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 it i'm all for the gold all for the gold and i also love that they made the gold much richer i mean because it pops it is out there y'all and you can see i mean you see that you can see the difference this is a subtle gold and this is the barrel <laughs> that's what that is right um and i feel like you wear the rock stud when you want to be elegant when you want to be you know and then when you're trying to be like a rock star, this is what you pull out. This is what you pull out, right? I think I've said enough. I think I've said enough. If you're not into this shoe, that is on you, honey. But you will see me rocking this as soon as I'm able to go out. And the springtime is coming, so we're all going to want to come out and do some twirling in our new looks. And this is going to be one of the things that I do that with. So that is all for my review here today, you guys. I hope what I shared with you today was helpful. Make sure you comment down below if you have any questions for me. I will be sure to answer them. I see that all of my other reviews have been really helpful to folks. I am more than happy to be able to answer any questions you have on absolutely anything regarding the shoe. I always do my best to be able to answer them because, again, this is something that I look for online. So I want to make sure that I'm helpful to you the way that I would want someone to be helpful to me. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification down below so you do not miss any of my uploads. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And also make sure you follow your girl on Instagram because your girl is back in full effect. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye y'all!